Hi everybody, it's Patty, Rockstar Mom, and welcome to my channel. Today I want to tell you right off the bat, don't complain about camera quality. I am using my old, I think it's a Sony camcorder, or it may be Canon camcorder, uh, that I had before I got my DSLR camera. Uh, my battery was dead. I thought I had charged it and I had not, so I could not use that. I need to get an adapter for that thing. Uh, and then, of all things, the other day when I was, uh, fil after I'd filmed, I took the SD card out of my camera and uh, the next thing I knew, Biscuit had it in his mouth and was chewing on it and ruined it. So I'm having to use one of my <clears throat> excuse me, small storage SD cards to film this video, so it'll probably be short because I'll run out of space. But uh, with all that being said, I do apologize for the uh, picture quality because, as I said, it's with that old camera, and it's probably going to be real light. When I'm looking in the monitor, let me try some. Okay, I turned the I turned a light off, so maybe maybe that will help just a little bit. Uh, anyway, I recently reviewed the uh, some of the Profusion. What's it called? Profusion. Well, the Profusion palettes that you you can get now at Walmart, and I think pretty much everything is under ten dollars. So. I'm really liking these products and I just decided maybe I would do a get ready with me and show you some of these, if not all of these, and just supplement with some other products. I'm going to probably fast forward through a lot of this video and maybe talk over it uh, at times so that I can get through in a short amount of time. But uh, we'll just start there. It's hot. The air conditioner is on, ceiling fans are on, but with the lights and my makeup mirror lit here, it's hot and I'm fanning. I had many of you tell me that you fan too. Uh, I've already done my skincare. I've used um, the Milani eyeshadow primer on my eyes. And with that, let's do foundation. I ordered the a little YBF kit off of, I think it's Home Shopping, uh, a, a couple of months ago. Uh, it was the Today Special. And a couple of products in there I really did like. Uh, one of them being the Glide On Gorgeous Foundation. And it's just a real good color for me. So I'm, we're going to start off with that, and usually what I do is I just put it all over my face, and I'm just using a, this is a Hit Cosmetics brush to blend it all in. I know so many people like the beauty sponges, the beauty blenders. I don't. I, I pull them out and try to use them after I've watched someone be so successful with it in a video and it, I, I, it they just don't work for me. I get my best results and sometimes I think it's about using the right brush And this brush with the flat top, and it's very thick, very highly, uh, very dense. And I see a couple of little hairs there. But this one seems to work really well for applying a lot of foundations. I think, well, nope. The first thing I'm going to use uh, is the Brows One 
It's called Brown Makeup Case. And let me dig this brush out. It has a, a pencil with a spoolie, and I'm just going to use the spoolie. And then I'm going to use the brush. And because the I've shaved the tails of my eyebrows off, and the reason I do that, for those of you who haven't heard this, uh, my eyebrows are blonde. Uh, the tails of them are very blonde, almost blonde. Well, you just can't see them. And from about right there out. And, but they grow down. They grow like that. And I want to open my eye. So I have shaved the top or the tail and I'm going to have to get some color there. So I'm going to use, first of all, there's a wax in this kit. And I'm going to just put some wax all through. Especially where I want the tail to be. Okay, and I'm, gonna, I'm wiping my brush off on the paper towel. And then there are two actual colors in this kit. There is taupe and soft brown. I'm going to use the taupe and just take a little bit on my brush and tap it off. Already, it's better. Let's do the other one. And then I'm going to take the spoolie again and just brush through. I'm trying to be really careful and not move that wax too much. I got the Profusion Mattes 24 Shade Eyeshadow Palette and Brush. Oops, sorry about that. I like this. I have my colors. This is called a Clean Sweep, but it's the Color Swipe, same thing. I've talked about these so many times. Clean my brush off. And I like to hold, whoops, I hold it like this so that I can reach up and clean it. I'm, I'm going to do just a little simple two color today and I'm going to use uh, the color in the top left hand corner called Sugar. And just... Pretty much put it all over my eye. Remember that this is not a tutorial. I do not do tutorials. I'm not trained to do them. This is what I do sort of what I've learned over 75 years. Well, not quite that long, but probably 55 years at least. Um, I've cleaned my brush and I'm going to go into, let me move this, I'm going to go into Twilight, which is this color right there. And I'm going to just go over my mobile part of my lid. This part that goes over my eyeball and I'm going up into my crease and for me just over my crease 
this is what, I don't want to say it's what looks best on me, it's what I like, I like best on me. I'm sure that, and I'm sure that I'll get a lot of comments from some of you telling me I should do this or I should do that or I should use a different color. And I appreciate your input. I really do. But I can almost promise you that I have tried your suggestion already. And I probably didn't like the way it looked on me. And you know as well as I do that I feel like we should do what we want to do. We should look the way we want to look, not how other people tell us, not how people who are uh, experts tell us. Um, we, we have to feel good in our own skin. And I think, I think that involves how we want to portray ourselves. And I could definitely soften my look up a bit with my dark shadows or my black eyeliner. I could definitely soften it up. But that's not the look that I like of me. That's not, that's not where I feel my best. It may be totally wrong in some people's eyes. It may be totally wrong in expert eyes or through expert eyes. But I'm the one who's wearing it. So if someone's going to laugh behind my back or to my face because I've overdone it for my age or for any age, that's just the way it is. And that's not to say that if you do a much lighter hand with your makeup, that's, that's wonderful. That's wonderful. It's just not me. Okay. The mattes kit. Okay, I also have the Mally Evercolor Gel Waterproof Liner in black. And I am going to, I'll see if I can stay in frame. I don't know if I can, but I'm going to tight line my upper uh, under my lashes. And I'm going to hold my, my actual eyelid up so that I can do that. You know, it helps to make your lashes look longer when you do this. It, I mean, you can see, you can see the difference. I have tried, I'm pretty sure I've tried every uh, gro lash growth serum out there and I have not had any of them that made a measurable difference for me and I've tried the very, most of them are very expensive but I've, I think I've probably tried them all. I heard this reviewed and I picked it up yesterday at Sally's. The person I saw review it just raved about it. It's called the Works Wow Effect All-in-One Mascara. It's by Colab, C-O-L-L-A-B. And I'll zoom in on that so that you can see it. But I don't have it in front of me, but I think it was around $12. And I was standing in Sally's, and just to make sure I was order, buying the right thing, because they had several mascaras, I, uh, 
I watch the video or enough of it so that I could see. Let me turn this over. I don't know. I don't like the brush right off the bat. Wow. They're clumping together just a little bit, but I'm amazed at the length. Just amazed. I'm going to get something. Hold on. Okay, I went and got a little mascara spool, spoolie, and I'm going to wait just a minute, and then I'm going to I'm going to let them get dry, and then I'm going to brush through them. But before I do that. I've had some of you ask why I don't curl my lashes. My, my eyes are sort of deep set and when I color and when I curl my lashes, they they hit, although they're short, they'll hit my brow underneath my brow bone there and they smear, the mascara smears. But generally when I put the wet mascara on, that curls them. Okay, I'm I'm liking this mascara so far. We'll see what happens when it's dry to brush it. Okay, I'm gonna use the Pro Conceal Contour this kit. And this, uh, I showed this the other day, but these are all creams. This one is a cream, and then the rest of these are shadows. Excuse me, are powders. And I am going to go into the cream sculpt, show you something I've been doing, and just get a, a good amount. See if we can do a little something with the jawline. And now I'm wiping my finger off. And I'm going to go into the, I think I'm going to go into the ivory right there. Hmm. Let's try this light. I'm going to go back. Whoops. I'm going to go back into the ivory and do right there. This is a Wayne Goss trick I learned the other day. Right there for aging skin on the temples. Okay. Get all that off my finger and now we're going to blend and I'm going to blend the light colors first. I saw where Wayne is he, uh, well, he did a video on it this a few days ago. He's going to have his own box of product. I'm going to try my best not to buy it. Go to the dark colors. I bought the new IT foundation the other day, and I am, I might, might talk about it in an upcoming video, um, probably 
maybe next week. And by the way, uh, the next few videos, I may not be able to comment. I'll read comments when I can, but we're taking, a, uh, we're going to Europe. And if you see stuff on my dining room table, I've started putting small things together that I'm going to carry with me. Okay. I think next I'm going to do some blush. Um, no, next I'm going to do some powder. Uh, <clears throat> this, there's really not a powder in this. I might could use the beige highlighter. Let me see. Or the light highlight, but I don't think so. I'm going to use, I've dug this out uh, of my stash. It's the Wet n Wild Bronzer Reserve Your Cabana. I bet they still make this. And I'm going to just go all over and lightly. Power of this. And then, boy, my face looks white in that monitor. The Profusion Blush 1. I think there were two of these. Like I said, I think most of these were under $10, if not all of them. Look for them at your Walmart. They have a, my Walmart, I have three Walmarts here, and they all have really nice selections at this place. I think I'm going to use um, Blossom, this one right in the center. Whoa, I'm going to turn this over. <laughs> I mean, I love this because you can just wipe your brush off. I am also going to grab, and again, what you're seeing there may be different from what I'm seeing in my mirror, my shape tape, a tart. I'm just really patting this. And then I'm going to use my e.l.f. under eye powder. Oh shoot. I didn't bring a brush out for that, so I'm just going to make do this little bitty cap. Okay, let's see if these eyelashes are they're dry, but they don't want to move. I thought maybe I could unclump them, but I can't. Oh well. Okay. The yellow eyeliner. I am going to go back to the Pro Conceal and Contour and I'm going to go into the uh, medium bronzer right there. Go right under my chin. My face does seem to be a whole lot lighter than my body. I, I tan so fast, so fast, that, I mean, I can go out in the sun and just for an hour and get an awful lot of color. 
I rarely peel. <clears throat> I do have the city lips, the clear on my lips, and I'm going to wipe it off. And this is the CoverGirl lip stain in the color 740. Sort of an orchid color. Every day that I don't wear one of the lip stains, I, tr I go with the lip liner and the lipstick, I am constantly putting on lipstick all day. With the lip stains, I'm not. I do like this. Let me look. The bad news is, I don't think this is cruelty free. I don't see the leaping bunny. Hmm. Well, I hate that. By the way, I finally used up all of my setting sprays. Every drop out of every bottle. And I was in Ulta the other day and I bought the new Pacifica Crystal Power Hydro Mist. It says for your skin and soul plus get glowing. All, for all skin types. And by the way, this is 100% vegan. Cruelty free. And it I'm not, the bottle itself has some glitter on it, and when I first looked at that, I thought maybe the glitter was in the setting spray, and I didn't think maybe I would like it because of that. Now that I've used it a few times, it doesn't. So, has a very soft, Scent, and it's very cooling let's see and it's a fine mist by the way your skin will look amazing and your soul will love the aroma powers watermelon lemongrass and rose crystal extracts unite with aloe to bring you hydration and a refreshing boost this is your moment to shine bright I like it and I like this and that's it so I hope you enjoyed this get ready with me just sitting here watching me put my makeup on and talk and talk about these new products that I purchased from the profusion line until I heard Emily Noel talk about this a few weeks ago I had never even heard of profusion I had not seen it in any of my stores so um, I'm, I'm very pleased with it. What I'm especially pleased with uh, is the price. I mean, my goodness. I mean, you can't beat the price. I always have the little clear balm that goes, comes with this in my purse so that if I feel like I need to during the day, I can just refresh it with that. That's it. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I hope if you haven't subscribed yet that you will subscribe. And I have, I'm not really sure if I've ever asked you to do this, but I'm going to ask you, if you will, to share this video. Just hit the share video. And you'll see that little share button down there. And I am just, as I said uh, in the last video, I'm so close to 50,000 subscribers, which, I mean, who ever would have imagined that uh, a 75-year-old woman could have uh, 
that many subscribers here on YouTube. And what's funny about it is that I've always been the oldest person in this community, in the beauty community, uh, putting videos up. And I had someone, I, I did a video once on some art and craft project that I was making. And there was a comment from someone who was a, a larger channel than mine. And she told me that uh, I should basically change the tone of my videos that she thought I would be far more successful in the arts and crafts uh, section of YouTube rather than in the beauty section. And, and she said it in a nice way, but I, I, that's not where I want to be. Uh, I will always do those kinds of videos from time to time, but uh, I'm here for a reason. Uh, I'm here because those of you who watch me and subscribe to me, I think, want me here. Uh, I'm not ready to throw in the towel. I'm uh, very anxious to get to that 50,000 mark. So if you haven't subscribed yet, now listen, this is something else, and I know a lot of you are strictly viewers of my channel. You don't subscribe. And it, for any number of reasons, uh, it's sort of like making a commitment, I think. You're just not ready to make that commitment. But when I look at all the analytics of my videos, almost every single video for the past year or so, I have only uh, right at 60% of you who watch my videos do not subscribe to my videos. So, can you imagine how many subscribers I would have if all of you who watch me subscribe to me? Oh my gosh, I'd probably have at least twice. I'd probably have 100,000 subscribers. So, for if you don't want to subscribe, I'm not going to beg you. But uh, if there's no real reason why you haven't subscribed yet, I hope you will. It's so easy. All you have to do is push that little subscribe button that you see on the screen. And then if you do want to be notified every time I post a video, you need to hit the little bell. And that little bell means that you'll get an email every single time I publish a video. Everybody that I subscribe to, I automatically hit that bell because I just sort of feel like if I subscribe to them, I really want to watch them. I want to see their videos as soon as they come out. So I want to get a notice, and I want to make sure they pop up in my feed when I go onto YouTube, and they do pop up in my feed. So if you subscribe to me and hit that bell, I will pop up into your feed uh, when I've posted a new video. So, so if you would subscribe, hit the bell, share, Give me a thumbs up. Now, that's a lot to do. That's that's an awful lot to ask of you. But if you'll help me hit that 50,000, I'll love you forever. Well, you know what? I'm going to love you forever whether you do or don't. So just know that I'm thinking about you. For the next few videos, if I do not reply to your comments or, or give you that little heart, uh, you'll know that uh, I'm just totally out of pocket. And at some point when I get to a place where I can, I will for sure at least read. And we're doing a transatlantic cruise. It's going to be almost three weeks. Uh, we'll be six days uh, at sea. And then we start making stops. And we have a couple of other times when we're two days at sea. And for those of you who have cruised before, you know that internet service is very spotty on a cruise ship. Uh, it's Number one, it's very expensive, but two, it's very spotty, it's even, even if you have it. And we always have it, but we buy a small package really mainly for emergencies. So um, YouTube is not an emergency. But... Sometimes we get to places where I can uh, get online and or have access to Wi-Fi 
and I can read and respond uh, to comments. But if I don't, you know why. You know why. Uh, some of you are going to be asking, bagel is, whoops, I still call him bagel. Biscuit is going to be staying at his veterinarian. They board also, and they absolutely adore Biscuit there. Uh, I have no qualms at all about leaving him. They play with him. He has lots of playtime. He, they keep him in the reception area behind the desk with them quite a bit of the time. They bring their other dogs. They bring their dogs. They're allowed to on a schedule. They can't all bring their dogs every day, but they have a schedule. So he has, uh, their dogs will be back in that reception area too. So, uh, it, listen, and when we pull up to that parking lot and I put his leash on him, to walk him in, he runs to the front door. He absolutely runs to the front door. And they have the big scale and he always has to be weighed before he can go in uh, or before they uh, board them, they have to be weighed. And he goes straight to the scale and climbs up on it and sits to be weighed. And it, they're just his friends. I mean, I, we're gonna miss him something terrible. But uh, I don't worry about him at all. I know, I know he's going to be just fine there. And we'll be glad to see him when we get back, and he'll be glad to see us. Thank you again so much for watching. Know that I love you. Don't forget to go out and be kind today. I say kindness is free, and we just need to sprinkle that stuff all over the place. I'll see you soon. Bye.